Hello and welcome to your uh, December 2022 reading. I'd like to remind you all that I do have my yearly readings for 2023 posted. They are general readings. They are readings for your sun sign, rising sign or moon sign. They are general readings, so it may be a good idea to also, I recommend, to listen to your rising sign and your sun sign at least, the moon sign as well. If you would like to book a personalised yearly reading that's going to be specific for you, you can go to my website and you can book that reading from there. Just a reminder, my lovely subscribers, that it is a limited time offer. You can purchase a yearly reading up until the end of January 2023. So it's a limited time offer. You've got there's two months left and that time flies as well. So if you would like to purchase a yearly reading, make sure you do that before the end of January 2023. On to your December reading. Hello, my lovely Virgo, welcome to your reading for December 2022. I hope this reading finds you well. This is a general reading for you, Virgo. It's a reading for Virgo Sun, Virgo Rising and Virgo Moon. <clears throat> I recommend you listen to your Rising Sign and Moon Sign as sometimes they resonate more for you than your Sun Sign will. And it also adds depth to your monthly reading, so a little bit more information. <clears throat> A little bit more detail for you. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. That will be specific to you, my lovely Virgo. <coughs> the channel... <coughs> my guides are coming through already. <coughs> Excuse me. My channeled message for you. <coughs> this month, my lovely Virgo, I've got to say I feel absolutely energised. There's an energy of let's get things done, let's get things moving, enough, 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 enough. It's time to lay down plans, it's time to make decisions, it's time to take action. So this is the, the month that's coming in for you energetically. There's going to be this real stirring of spring cleaning. I know it's winter for you over there in the Northern Hemisphere, but it's a, a time of let's get things organised, let's get things done. What decisions am I going to make? Enough of procrastinating, enough of making no, not making decisions, of the indecision. It's time to take action, to, to find the bravery to move forward, to make things happen to take the risks, to stand out on that ledge. What I'm seeing here for you in my mind's eye is the fool card. Let's take that leap of faith. Let's see what the future holds. There needs to be a shift and you're going to feel that restlessness, that energy, that energy of action, which I really like because I feel behind that energy is coming this uh, good fortune, is coming things that things will fall into place. What choices, what decisions are you wanting to make? What have you been procrastinating? What have you been indecisive on? Is it your work, where you work, how you work, who you work with? Starting your own business, retiring, travelling. Who's taking a sabbatical? Who's taking a year off to go travelling? Someone is, some Virgo. That's exciting. I'm going to draw a card now from the Divine Animal Oracle deck from Stacey DeMarco. <clears throat> Let's see what your animal totem is. What is your spirit animal that's going to come through for you in December to help you move along, to help that energy? Oh, see, this is the second sign that's got this. The peregrine falcon. falcon falcons have got very astute, very, very um, good eyesight. They can see things at a distance. They can see... The tiniest thing, the tiniest opportunity, that next meal. <clears throat> They're also very spiritual animals. They have been worshipped through um, in Egypt. Uh, it's the mystical animals. They travel between the, the realms, bring through messages, communicate. So be aware of that. There's, a, there's going to be a connection. This, this intuition is going to come through for you, this connection with the divine. 
inspirational thought. <clears throat> more, more is channeled for you, my lovely Virgo. Inspirational thought. Dreams. Synchronicities. Be aware of all those things. This is what the spirit animal of the falcon is bringing through for you. <clears throat> and uh, see, the message here is observation. There's a new dawning coming. There is a new awakening coming. There is this new phase, this new chapter, <clears throat> and it's going to be divinely guided. So <clears throat> in the month of December, call the falcon energy through for you. <clears throat> See what messages you get. See what guidance comes through. <clears throat> Gee whiz, my spirit guides are really coming through. <clears throat> And that's what's coming through for you, my lovely Virgo. <clears throat> I'm going to create the Celtic cross here for you now. <clears throat> Let's see in more detail <clears throat> what is going to be created for you. <clears throat> oh, they're coming out. They're throwing these cards out at me. <clears throat> they're really wanting to get that. Let's get that message through. Let's get that message through. Oh, do you see them flying out, my lovely Virgo? <clears throat> That's that eagerness to get things started, get things moving. <clears throat> and, you know, your spread is sort of speaking very much of your channeled message, which I always love because that's real confirmation for you. <clears throat> Let's have a look. So... <clears throat> you're coming from a place of indecision. You're coming from a place of, oh, look, I'm going to, I'm going to really think about this. I'm going to really research. I'm going to really look at. I'm going to really <clears throat> collect my information before I make a decision. But that is also getting you a little bit stuck. This, I don't, toing and froing, toing and froing. And if you, timing's different for all of you. Some of you have already started doing this. <clears throat> and for some of you, you, you're doing it now. And for some of you, you know, this reading could fit you better in January. <clears throat> so, you know, always listen to past readings as well because sometimes there's a lot of relevance there in the, in the next month for some of you. <clears throat> the Two of Swords is about making a decision, but sort of having this sense of, I'm feeling like this sense of stuckness. I don't know what to do. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? What if, what if? What if I do this? What if I do that? <clears throat> Gets you caught up. But the energy that's sweeping through in December for you, getting you ready for 2023 is going to be something that's very, very different. You've got the seven of coins here, the seven of pentacles. Being very grounded, being, being very still, my lovely Virgo, <clears throat> this is your suit. This is where you sit best, being grounded, being practical, S making your plans, setting your goals, and then show patience in the beginning of December because things aren't going to just explode and evolve straight away. You're going to be driven to, I'm going to set my goals. I'm going to take that first step. Of, that, that first step. Let's see what happens. Pay attention. Be patient. Pay attention to the synchronicities. Pay attention to what's being shown to you. Be patient because the, the movement will happen when the timing is right. It's about timing for you, my lovely Virgo. And it's not going to happen instantly at the beginning of the month because I feel like there's a bit of a test here. Can you be patient? Can you wait? Do you trust? Do you have the faith? Do you have the belief that things will come to you? <clears throat> Show loyalty in your choices and, and surety in your decisions and choices and be patient. And things will come to you. Look at that tree. It's laden with opportunities, laden with the abundance that you're seeking. So is it financial? Is it um, professional? Is it love? Is it joy? Is it health? What is it for you? Is it all of those things? Abundance is many things. It's all good things in life, things that are pleasing to you, not necessary, not to others. Everyone have the, has their own <clears throat> appreciation of of what life brings to you you it's crossed with temperance so this speaks of patience it speaks of balance it speaks of harmony surround yourself with nature go for walks 
earth yourself, ground yourself, make those choices in that peace and harmony. Don't tie yourself up in knots because I don't feel like the energy is that. What's coming through for you is this confidence, is this peace, is this knowing, this sense of knowing that things are going to turn around. The, the, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favour and it's going to move you along into 2023, which is going to be a very, very good year for you, a year of great change and possibilities. So I really like that, my lovely Virgo. That what you set up in the very beginning of December is actually going to, you've got the six of swords here. It's going to take you from one way of being to a new way of being. There is a time of transition. There is a time of movement. But you're taking with you everything you've learned from the past, um, the lessons, the challenges you faced, uh, the hurdles you've jumped, They're, that's shaped you, that's shaped you, that's the gaining of wisdom. It's made you stronger and you're being offered this, this voyage, this transition from where you are now to something better, taking with you everything you've learned. Now, if this transition could be a movement from where you work, a promotion, a new job working for somebody else. <clears throat> applying for jobs, applying for different work, starting your own business, moving house, moving state, bringing in new things around you. Who's writing a book? There's new knowledge coming through here. There's new information coming through here. You are divinely guided. So you're not doing this on your own. You're actually being given that gentle push. You're going to feel that energy. <clears throat> I really like that. Our, and as I said, it's about having faith, having faith that what is shown to you is going to fall into place, having faith that you are on a new journey, having faith that the page in your book is being turned over. This is what they're showing me here. The page in your book is being turned over. There's a new page, a blank page. What are you going to write on it? What are you going to put on it? What are you going to plan? What are your plans? <clears throat> There's a turning point coming here for you to do with a relationship. You could be starting a new relationship, leaving an old, leaving an old relationship, sorting through friends and deciding who you're going to maintain and who you're going to let go of, who no longer resonates with you. <clears throat> There's a marriage coming up for someone or some of you. There's a commitment in a relationship coming up for some of you. It's having that faith and that belief. And so this change is taking many different forms for you. For some, it's professional. For some, it's that family environment. For some, it's, it's the whole kit and caboodle. For some of you, it's all of it. So there's big, big change coming. Stay strong. Stay firm. Have faith. Show patience and harmony because there is a transition, you're being guided. <clears throat> so harmony, temperance plays a very big part in, in this. Meditate on what it is you're wanting to bring through. <clears throat> Take some time out. Go for walks in nature. Ground yourself. Your dreams will bring you messages. When we find that tranquility, that balance and that patience, that's when we are observant of the synchronicities that are around us. Why? Because we eliminate distractions. We don't busy ourselves with other things. The ego is a very interesting thing, my lovely Virgo. The, when the ego senses some sort of change, it's, okay, I don't want this. Why can't we stay where we are? What are you doing? You might not, you might fail. It might not work. Why even bother? This is the ego talking to you. And you need to say, okay, ego, take a back seat. I'm following my intuition. This is what I'm driven to do. This is what I'm feeling like I need to do. And this takes you, who's being lifted out of a ditch or a hole that's been dug? You're finding your way out. <clears throat> I really like that. You've also got the Palace of Wands. The Palace of Wands is you discovering what your passion is, you embracing that change is coming in and coming in swiftly, not showing resistance, not holding it back. <clears throat> this is about you finding your joy, finding that fire in your belly, 
finding your passion, finding your joy, what is it that you want to do, setting new goals. This is the card of action. So as you move into the middle part of December, you're going to have a hard time sitting still, my lovely Virgo, because you want action. You want to put things in place. You want to create new things around you. You want to create some sort of change on some level. For some of you, it will be subtle. For some of you, it will be huge. <clears throat> Just depends on your natal chart as to how much of that energy comes through for you. There is an ending to the hurdles, to the challenges, to the problems, to the negativity, to whatever's been keeping you stuck. You've learned a lot. It's important that you don't take the, bring the negativity through into this new phase, into December. Leave it behind. Leave it in November. Take with you only how it's changed you, how it's made you stronger, how the, the adversity has marked you in that determination. We need to know what we don't want so that we know what we do want and we can start bringing it into our reality. So there's a closure here. There's an ending here coming for you, coming around you, my lovely Virgo. <clears throat> Intuition. The High Priestess plays a very, very big part in this month. This is your uh, your intuition will speak to you. Your higher self will speak to you. Your guides are communicating with you. It's about uh, paying attention to your dreams, having a dream journal, listening to conversations where pearls of wisdoms are dropped, inspirational thought, where the light switches on. Oh, I'm going to try that. I'm going to do that. Going, uh, driving home in a different, taking a different route, mixing it up breaking routine, um, following your intuition. You will hear your higher self, your guides speaking to you, giving you that guidance. <clears throat> there is connection here with spirit. Some of you are going to be exploring that spiritual side of you, connecting with your guides, connecting with your higher self, connecting with your intuition in a stronger way. For some of you, there's the joining of a group, a group situation. Uh, maybe it's a meditation group. Maybe it's a retreat that you're going on, but there's something that you're bringing in here that adds that extra layer to what's going on around you, that depth, digging, going beneath the surface, digging deep, exploring new things. There's, a, there's an exploration of new things around you, new learning around you. What have you always wanted to do? What have you always wanted to add? What, what, what string have you wanted to add to your bow? Because it's going to put that feather in your cap. This is what they're saying to me. <clears throat> so it's when we, we resist, when we don't follow our intuition, when we allow our ego to take hold, that it creates resistance, which slows the whole process down. So how much do you want to embrace, my lovely Virgo? How much do you want to put out there? You've also got the Six of Pentacles. So this is you being practical. This is you going, okay, this is what I want to do, uh, weighing out your funds, budgeting. Being cautious about your spending, not overspending, not making any impulse buys. Don't overcommit financially to anything this month. It's about laying down those plans. It's about investigating, balancing out the budget. This is also about your ideas. This is your bank of ideas to bring on this great abundance that you're seeking and being Okay, how am I going? What am I going to do with this? That's the sign of Libra, which is balance. It's about balance. It's about harmony. It's about balancing life, balancing spending, balancing uh, things that are around you, balancing work, balancing yourself. So you're really going to be weighing things up, weighing things up in a positive way. Okay, what resources do I have? And how am I going to be able to move forward? What do I want to bring in around me? Your final card for December is the Two of Wands. So you discover your direction. You discover your passion. You discover your enthusiasm and energy. You feel a lot more energized by the end of December. And there are opportunities that are opening up for you. So what you've laid down in the beginning of the month, you're going to start seeing these opportunities, these synchronicities coming up around you. Time to make a decision. It doesn't matter which choice or decision you make because all, all roads lead to Rome. 
those the the paths will link up later on down the track so it doesn't matter what choices and decisions you make what is important here that you is that you bring in that energy of change discovering your purpose your joy your energy your enthusiasm that fire in your belly you're going to have a hard time sitting still, I'm telling you, my lovely Virgo, because this is going to spill over into January. In January, you're really going to be moving. I feel like you're on a on a bike and away you go. You know, you're not even walking. It's really, let's get things going. Let's speed things up. I'm going to draw another card for you to see what's the extra detail here. What decisions are you making? Uh, they're life-changing choices and decisions. My lovely Virgo, you've got the nine of earth. The nine of earth, the nine of pentacles. This is everything coming to you. This is karma at play. What is yours will come to you. There is an increase in finances. There is an increase in abundance, whether that's love, finance, work, career, um, joy, whatever it is for you. There's an increase in that appreciation of what life has to offer you. It's coming to you. It's your turn. It's time to shine. I really like that. So with the nine of pentacles, it's like you've, by the end of the month, you're going to start seeing results. While you've been waiting patiently at the beginning of the month, by the end of the month, it's going, you're going to start receiving it. So show clarity, set goals, <clears throat> decide what it is you want to bring in around you, my lovely Virgo. I'm going to draw a card from my Divine Abundance deck. Let's see how we tie this up. What, what message is Spirit going to bring you for the month of December? Oh, let me get that. They're, going, they're really eager. This, this, is, this is typical of the energy that's going to be coming through for you. It's like it, things are flying everywhere. There's a lot of energy. Oh. <laughs> Outrageous openness. I'll show you the card. Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from my attachments and that's the ego. That's your thought processes. Surprise me, surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed and I am open to receive. Doesn't that tie up beautifully your reading for the month of December? That's your mantra for that month. And you've got this, you know, bird sitting there busy, busy. Busy, busy, collecting the pollen, collecting the honey, collecting the sap, collecting what nourishes you. That's fabulous, my lovely Virgo. I'm so pleased. Uh, I wish you a, a month of blessings, love and light, joy um, and energy. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there. That will be specific to you.